Good afternoon, everyone. Today we have oops, the 1955 Frigidaire Imperial Automatic Washer. It's a WI-55, as known as a Unimatic. Um, there's a slight dent right here. That's the only visible damage, and then I need to get some bar Barkeeper's Friend for this. Um, this came from an appliance shop here locally. 35 years it had sat before, excuse me, before it had, before I acquired it. A friend of mine, Will, um, he sent me the link to it, and a huge thank you to him. And then another friend put the cord, helped me with the cord, and changed out the oil in it for some full synthetic Royal Purple air compressor oil because these mechanisms are fully, um, they're constantly getting an oil bath. And they con and they have they have brass parts inside of them, so they're kind of a pain. The 55 has been moved out of the 62 has, and then the 1 to 18 has been moved as well for the 63. Oh, and look at my Whirlpool clock. I got from my friend Clayton. I traded him an old Zenith TV. this out this thing is awesome come on that doesn't do it any justice truthfully there that looks much better the light kind of has to be in the way you know what i'll move it over here yeah so 63 the whirlpool sign's been moved this one's most recent acquisition this cup came out of another Unimatic that I have that's not operational. Clean some of this out with some vinegar. Um, this is supposed to be perfectly round, but time just hasn't been kind to it. The, the guy that on automatic washer that's doing all the old frigid air parts, he's getting me a new ring and a new cap. And then once it comes time probably here later this year and take this out replace the bellows change this out the oil in this thing was horribly nasty and um, it was just disgusting it was like chocolate milk so let me get a light the back panel is somewhere around here. I just have it off, so I'm keeping an eye on it while I'm running it. Since it is an old machine. There's the timer. There's the fill valve. Now, this is not original. This came off another machine. Um, it was backflowing because of the water pressure. I think the lady who had it before had low water pressure. And then there's the mechanism. Here, I'll get you guys to see. Oh. There, there's the unimatic mechanism right there. Oh, there's the motor for it. The mechanism, come on, there it is. So there's my ghetto JB Weld fix for the bottom of the tub. It was kind of a poor design. This thing sits flat so water could eat through the outer tub. I also have the lower access panel off. Um... So far, so good. Everything's running okay on it. Um, this machine always offered a true a warm rinse. Never had a cold rinse on these things. So I got it pulled out. 10 minute wash. Never need that. Oops. So here's the cord. The other cord on it was dry rye. That's an element out of a filtrator dryer or filtromatic dryer. There's a 57 machine. That one's getting all new rings right now. That's not done yet. So water valve energizes this. That's the other side. 
all it is is a switch. This should not come off like that, but it does. Um, oh well, big deal. So pull it out, move it over a few. There she goes. Now, in there, if there was laundry in here, that tub wouldn't be moving. And besides that, it's super duper quiet. So here we're gonna put her put her into spin now. There. Took herself out of the start windings. There's full 1140 right there. It's amazing. It's very smooth. It's pretty quiet too. Timer. There's a way to buy it to help bypass that because when this thing goes into spin, it's drawing 26 amps to go into spin. I'm going to do a load with it sometime later, maybe later this week. Um, I just wanted to show you guys basic operation of this machine. And I'll show you guys how to do a full video. But you can see, it, see how it does that. Brakes being applied. She coasts down from 0 to 1140. Now it takes 26 seconds for this thing to go to a 0 to 1140 approximately. Um, so it flies. And then there's that. So pull that out, move that over there. So there she is. 1955 Frigidaire automatic washing machine in all her glory. Um, I'll be doing an actual video of her later, and I'm going to get her a little bit better cleaned up, especially around the parts, but uh, the lady had this machine, the guy that I bought it from, it was in an appliance store in North here, North Carolina, and it was on Craigslist. Uh, a friend of mine sent me the link to the Craig's to the ad on Craigslist. I got in contact with the guy, went and picked it up about a week later. He was kind enough to hold it for me until I had time and money to go get it. And then went and picked it up, tried it out, but didn't do anything with it. He told me that it originally was in a home, in a kitchen. That's why it's in such marvelous shape especially for a 63 year old machine and um he said the frigidaire dealer was right across from where i bought the machine so literally and the house where it had came from was only a few blocks down the road so the it this machine until i took it out of town it had never been out of town its entire service life until it from from the time it left general motors so when I took it out of the town, that was that's the furthest it's been in 63 years or 60, 63, 64 years. These were sold from mid 64 through mid 50, mid 54 through mid 55, kind of like the automobiles of the era. So there she is. There's a hole right here to let it, uh, I guess, air out a little bit. And that tub is a gorgeous speckled color. Even this is gorgeous, and it's just a speckled color. Um, it's very smooth operate operational. It's very oper it operates very smooth, and I hope it'll stay that way. Um, I got a little bit of work to do on it. I'm gonna fix this slight rust right here. I'm gonna clean this up, fix that. Slightly overfills for the. Uh, yeah, there's, there's some stuff right there. But it's just an old machine. Um, but nothing too horrible and nothing that can't be fixed. Um, the biggest thing was the mechanisms. And this mechanism was in really good shape, surprisingly, for how ancient it is. 
normally they have broken torque springs that's what took them out of service so uh, this will be a good video like I said it has a dent right there I'm not worried about it and that logo is in good shape that's in gorgeous shape um, hopefully she'll be running for a while for me but I plan to do some videos with it. These things are amazing towel washers and are just wonderful machines all the way around. And hopefully uh, I'll get to have some more that are operational. Uh, this was the first year that they changed that they started changing the design every year. They changed the top of the line machines had a ch had a change in design every year from 55 through about 65. Um, even a little bit later than that till the end of the roller Maddox. So um, here she is. Hopefully you guys like it. And um, I'll do an actual wash video with it probably later today. But uh, please like and subscribe and comment. Thank you.